let's get into those cute family moments that we saw beginning with Blue Ivy because, I mean, she was in Black is King. She is a co-star. Yes. Uh, I have to, Gia, what was your favorite B.I.C. Blue Ivy Carter moment in the film? Every time she popped up on my screen, <laughs> I screamed a little bit because she is the literal product of Jay-Z and Beyonce. Here she is, this excellence in person. Um, and it's so beautiful <laughs> to see her grow up. And what's so beautiful about Little Blue is that she's starting to become her own young woman. And even and that was so apparent in Power. Um, oh. When she took her black hat and those sunglasses and mm -hmm. had her little performance to the screen without Beyonce, Without her mom, we could see that she's stepping into her own confidence. And when she started to wind her little hips, I was not ready for it. Because, you know, we were, remember when Beyonce had her in those photos of her in the hospital with this beautiful little baby in her arms, the, the child that debuted on the MTV Awards in Love on Top. Oh her moment is yeah. now this beautiful black girl who can realize and is in her power and it's beautiful to see. So I think my favorite part was definitely seeing her in power because she's grown. Like she's growing up yes. right in front of her eyes and I can't look and the attitude that she gives off the confidence at such a young age. I just I feel like yes. Blue Ivy has the gift that some of us black young young women didn't didn't get, you know, black women in general is that she's growing up with a mother who owns who she is, who knows mm. who's her worth. And it's confident, right? So at a young age, that confidence is being instilled in her. And we see that just painted beautifully. Even in Brown Skin Girl, when she had her last verse at the end, her, um, don't it, I don't even want to try to sing it because I can't, but um, it was cute. Yeah, yeah, but the end part where she says something, I forgot. But this part even right here where she gives us that little smirk, you just see her right here. Yeah, this is my Look favorite part of Lou. Look at this young queen. Yeah. She is, you she know, is. obviously she's looking like a, a debutante here. And then you see her in power. And I'm like, mm -hmm. this girl, this young girl has the range. Okay. She Look, has right the range. Here, yes. This is her, she is her mother's child. Okay. And I think mm -hmm. that was why brown skin girl was so impactful for that reason right there. And for someone like Blue Ivy, I mean, yes, her mom's Beyonce, but you know, her grandma is Tina Knowles Lawson. Her sister is Rumi Carter. And you got to see the legacy, the legacy yes. in Brown Skin Girl. And there were so many family moments here. What did you guys, what did this visual mean to you? Uh, it meant everything. I know as, as a woman in general, for me speaking specifically, a lot of what I carry as far as caring so much about beauty or certain, you know, I don't want to call them generational curses, but just things that have harbored over the women in my family, they travel and including the bad things as well as the good things. So I think seeing that portrait right there, it's Beyonce and Tina, most importantly, saying this is my lineage. You know, they mm -hmm. they get everything that I have gone through is passed on to them, including my knowledge. So I don't know, it inspired me to actually want to produce my own lineage and speak go. truth into them and love into them. Yeah. Mm. That is beautiful. I totally wow. agree with you there because I think what is the most powerful part about this movie is that there's not only so much importance loving on and taking care of your family, but there is so much beauty in spending time together, in being together, in yeah. seeing each other, in understanding the gift of life, no pun intended, but right. the gift of life is best spent with the people you love. And I think even though Beyonce is this larger than life celebrity, this glimpse into how important her immediate family is to her, her nucleus of friends and family is to her, is evident in this. And I think she wants everyone to understand understand like it doesn't matter if you make a hundred million dollars or one dollar yeah. remember who was there with you at every step of the way and keep them there and you will be doing something right i think it also speaks to tina who has instilled that worth in beyonce mm. because beyonce said from the beginning she always thought black meant beautiful inspiring powerful and that comes from who raised her you get what i'm saying so i think it also is honoring tina and all that she's done for b in this moment as well and I think yes. in Brown Skin Girl, she was also honoring that sisterhood, whether it's 
family, chosen family. I mean, the fact that mm-hmm. Kelly Rowland was also in that. Obviously, she name checks her in the lyrics, so I was anticipating Kelly to be there. But this precious <laughs> moment that these two sisters share, yes. and it was so genuine. And so, like, you can even see Beyonce kind of break mm-hmm. a little bit, being like, oh, man, I am just mm-hmm. enjoying this moment with my sister Kelly. I mean, did you guys not get the feels when you saw that? <laughs> yes, I was I did. in the of my 4,000th tier by then. And yes. it was <laughs> double. Um, I think what Beyonce and Kelly represent to so many of Mm -hmm. us, especially so many of us who are in the entertainment like we are, is that Black women have always been each other's home. And whether we understand how important it is or not to see each other, like fully see each other, not just for what we can do Mm -hmm. and what the table and the being black girl magic no we are beautiful just for showing up and i think mm-hmm. brown skin girl really, really drove that point home because here were these women that were debutantes but as the video unfolded you see naomi campbell you see lupita nyong'o you see so many beautiful women and kelly Rowland. chosen friends matter just as much as family yeah. um and you have their love on them while you have the chance and yeah, yet, I totally least... agree with you. And I think, well, the way it spoke to me is is just in a larger scale when it comes to colorism, because mm. Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, he spoke about in the past how, you know, Destiny's Child, they did deal with that issue. And we've seen in the media how they will try to put Kelly up against Beyonce, make it a whole entire competition thing. So I think Beyonce actually making this video and calling out, you know, all colors of brown, all of us women and bringing Mm. us together, it speaks to what you say, Gia, that we have to see each other first, right? Before we can expect anybody to see us or love us or respect us. And that moment between them two, it was like, you can't break this sisterhood. No matter how much you try, this is unbreakable. The love is real here. Yes. Speaking of that love, you know, this is going to be a piece that obviously it, all of us are enjoying and that it's so important, but it's also going to be a really important, I don't know, almost like a, a visual for the family, like a family picture book, because they're all in it. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z's <laughs> in it. You know, we're talking about all these sweet, tender moments with like Kelly and Blue Ivy and her mom. And then she swagged out with Jay-Z and Move Forever. Uh, and also, of course, she dedicates the whole film to her son, Sir Carter. Uh, what do you guys think that signifies? I think more than anything, uh, being a black mother in this country and having a Mm. black son is probably one of the most stressful and scary experiences uh, in American life, meaning Mm. that there are many attacks on black men. And I think that Beyonce understands that now she is the mother of a black son. And I think she's telling her son, whether I'm here or not, whether whether mm-hmm. your father is here or not, whether anybody is here or not, this is a beautiful way to live life. I want to teach you these lessons. I want you to know that you're loved. I want you to know that you can get lost. I want you to know that you can always find your way back. And I want you to know that black excellence and opulence, one, you live in it because you're my son, but it is always available to you and it is up to you to, if you find your way, always share what you learned along that way. And I think that mm-hmm. was a beautiful love letter to him, but also, and, and as a result of that, we all got a beautiful reminder of the power that is already within us to just yeah, journey sure. on as uh, remembering the past, but also understanding that there's so much possibility in the future. And that you can't you that wear you can't yeah. wear a crown with your head down. I felt that so much. You got to step into mm-hmm. you know your 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 destiny. Really, I mean, you have to step yeah. into it. And yeah, and into- yeah, and know that that journey is not always going to be smooth. It's not always pretty. Just putting on your crown. It takes some you know some adjusting and just some struggles, even to know that you are worthy. So I definitely agree with everything you said, Gia. I don't even want to add to it because I feel like you said it perfectly. <laughs> But her intention behind all of this was for it to be an affirmation for Absolutely. black young people in this in this country. And I think it definitely was. She hit the mark exactly. for sure. And we're already kind and of the, dissecting the... I'll go for it, Gia. Oh, I was just going to add, and the crazy part is, you know, we all know she's been working on this for a year. So yes. in so many ways, sh- no one could have understood or even known the power in this moment of what releasing it a year later would actually mean. They didn't know George Floyd was gonna be killed. They didn't know who stuck 
losing our minds because we're all in quarantine and missing our family and friends. They didn't know how much this was needed. So for me, I, I tweeted earlier, like this was purpose work. Beyonce mm -hmm. understanding at the end of the day, I've gone through 20 plus years in this industry to really put this out. This might be the most important project she's ever done yes. for black people in general because of this moment and the need for this type of imagery.